Hmm. It's pretty quiet around here these days. And something feels off. Oh, that's right. Emily's on a two-week business trip. Well, it's a good thing she didn't change her PayPal password. All right, so in this box is actually some really cool snakes. They're kind of common except for one thing, which I don't think I've ever actually seen in person. However, let's see, we'll get this open up and take a look at them. Oh, there they are. All right. Oh, they're active at least. That's good. So we'll pull them both out and then get this box out of here. So here they are. Aw. All right. So as you can see, they are both garter snakes. I have a normal and an albino in each one. So there's two pairs here, basically. The cool thing about these is these are erythristic garter snakes. So they're eastern garter snakes, but they're erythristic garter snakes, which is the opposite of anerythristic garter snakes or anery snakes. Usually you see them a lot in ball pythons and, and corn snakes. What that does is that reduces the red. Anery reduces the red in the pigment, which causes them to come out very dark, very black colors. Well, erythristic or uri basically makes reds pop. So reds are really strong, reds are really bright. I'm gonna start with the males here. And I know from experience, I am really bad at handling baby garter snakes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them in here which is gonna be their quarantine setup, which we always recommend anytime you get new snakes, especially if you have a collection of snakes, to quarantine your animals to make sure that you're not bringing anything into your collection or your home and come out too. The other one was eager to come out. There we go. All right, so now I can show you a little bit closer up what these guys look like. So they are beautiful. I don't know if it's really coming through on the screen here, but they are super high red. They have almost a maroonish red look to them. So the normals are kind of just dark. They have a little bit of maroon down their sides, but apparently the colors will really start to pop every shed they take. So these are the two boys. I got a an albino and just a normal het, erythristic. So yeah, these guys are absolutely gorgeous. As you can see, their sides and back have a lot of maroon, especially in the, uh, in the albinos here. The normals don't really show it, but from what I hear, these are gonna get very high red as they age. I will actually put a couple pictures of their parents like here and here to kind of show you as they age what they should look like. I'm gonna put these guys, actually sort them up in their in their quarantine enclosures. I'll get them water in a little bit. But yeah, this works a lot better than what I've done in the past with garter snakes because they are so squirmy and I feel like I'm gonna break them. So I'm gonna set these guys aside and we'll do the same thing with the, the females. Now, wow, she's huge, that normal. Uh, anyways, the female here, is actually high red. It was sold to me as a high red erythristic, which should mean that she should even be more red than the, the boy albino on the other one. Wow, look at all the red on the back of her neck. She's got a little poop on her or something like that, but she looks good overall. They're both very active. This one's hiding, of course. Oh, she's huge. And yeah, she's got a ton of that red. I'm trying to get the light right. There we go. She's got a ton of that red on the backside of her neck. And like I said, as, it, as she grows every shed, they should be even more and more red coming through. So yeah, those are awesome animals and I can't wait to show Emily them, but she's gonna be back in like a week and a half now. So I will just set these guys in here and these guys are both ready for their quarantine. So we're gonna quarantine these for about a month to two months, depending on how we what their poops look like. That's also why we're not using any kind of aspen bedding or any kind of substrate for bedding. We're using paper towels so we can monitor their, monitor their poops. Look at that little guy in there. I think these ones will be really cool to watch grow. But yeah, I will move these to quarantine and we will cut to when Emily gets home and I get to surprise her with our new additions to the family. All right, so Emily should almost be home. So I've got everything kind of set up so we can surprise her with these. Oh, there she is. Hi. Hi. Why are you filming? No reason. You should just come over here. What's under the towel? Nothing. <laughs> oh no, did you buy something? Maybe. What did you buy? You didn't change your PayPal password. <gasps> you did buy something. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, okay, let me put this back. Okay. Oh, man, I haven't even like taken a shower. Okay, I'm opening these now. Sure. Okay, do I need any like knives to open things? Or? Nope, they're in quarantine bins. Okay. What 
are they? Look, they're bins. Oh, they're hiding in their caves. Is it a safe fight open up the side? Yes, they shouldn't spring out from the top of that. Okay. I see a little poop, so there's a little snake in here. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, they're so tiny. <gasps> Whoa. So garter snakes. Yep. Whoa, what are you? They're beautiful. Holy cow. Um. So do you have a, a type? What's the... Are they checkered? No, I don't see checkers on them. Are they Eastern garters? They are. Really? Yeah, they're baby Eastern garters. Okay. But what's see, special about them? Obviously, I see other than- red eyes. Yep. So this is an albino yep. sorts? Weird, I've never seen an albino that looks like this. Is there something more than albino in there? Yes. Really? Hypo albino? Nope. Oh, is there like a ghost warp? No, that would be hypo albino. Yep. Is this one het for it? That's het for albino, and it's the other morph. Granite? Nope. Oh, uh, I don't know. So what is anery in snakes? So the, it removes the red, right? Yep. So it makes them look darker. Yep. These are called urethristic. Instead of oh, anerethristic, they're urethristic. 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 Okay. And what does that so do? So that increases the red in them. Oh, whoa! I've never worked with that genetic yeah. morph before. Wow, they are gorgeous. So if you can see like around the back of her head, she's got a lot of red on her. Yeah. And, and with albinos naturally having a lot of red, they just, wow. it's just like intensified. And oh then my gosh. she's got... She, They're both girls? I, these two are either the girls and these... <gasps> Is it the same thing in the other one? Maybe. Oh, this one has like a kind of a darker pattern. Okay, that's the girl. So nice. the ones are, that are albino are albino erythristics. And then the normal ones are het albino. Yep, but they're erythristic. Yeah, erythristic. Okay. Or okay. uri. Instead of anery. Uri. Yeah, uri. I'm going to have to get used to saying erythristic. Because I'm not familiar with that morph. But they are gorgeous. But everybody calls them anery, so uri. Uri. Okay, they're <laughs> albino uris. <laughs> That'll work. Man. Okay, they're going to be fun to raise. Yeah. Wow. Okay, that's okay that you spent PayPal money to buy these. <laughs> <laughs> this was worth, yeah, worth investing in. Oh, I love their, like, the center, like, their pupil is red, but around is, yeah. like, darker colored. That is super cool. Oh, I can't wait to see these as adults. So are you happy with them? Yes. Okay. Oh, I approve of this purchase. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I could have almost bought anything and you would have been okay with it, but... Yeah, probably. <laughs> but these are garters. You like garters. Yeah, I love garters. <laughs> Thanks for buying these. Yeah. What a cool surprise to come home to. Yeah, these are really cool. This is going to be like a high-end breeding project yeah. when they're ready to go. So I guess here's the new addition to our family this times two because the other two are down there. Thank you, Ed, for buying these. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it's kind of an impromptu video for me. I still have to unpack all my reptiles from my trip, but thank you, everyone, for watching today's unbox. Did you unbox them, too? Yeah. On camera? Yep. Nice. All right, well, I, then I guess this video is ready to go. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I'm not used to just jumping in like this. Thank you to all of our Patreon supporters for your amazing support on this channel, and we'll see you next time.